Hey, Wake Up Humans, Dr. Steven Judson here, and I just got done uh, reading a study that they did. Uh, it was written through the journal uh, Health Affairs that American kids are 70% more likely to die before adulthood than kids in other rich countries. Countries like Australia, Canada, uh, Sweden, France, United Kingdom. And it's disheartening having five kids myself who have never really been sick. When I say really, we had maybe one or two that had a slight fever, and people would call that sick, and I, that's not my definition of sick. Uh, never had an ear infection, never had an antibiotic, going from the age of 16 down to six. And I'm not here to brag, because I know someday they may get hit with some stuff and we'll need some medical intervention, but I hope not. My daughter broke her arm, ended up with surgery. We're the best at that. But 70% more likely of our children are going to die before adulthood in the United States. My question is why? We have to ask ourselves a serious question. 2018, perceived to be the most powerful country in the world, why are our kids at such a high risk of dying young? And what has to change? Now, I'm the guy that's going to say, let's get their atlas a check. Let's make sure their immune system's up, their neurology's connected, their brain body's connecting. And I also know there's other factors that are going to come into play. But my role is to tell us to wake up and let's start checking that atlas with these kids and make sure that their neurology is clear so it can adapt at a higher level. There's no competition between the chiropractic side and the medical side. We've got to get over that stuff. But we've got to do is wash away this 70% rule they're coming out with in 2018 saying that our kids are dying young. And we've got to change what we're doing and start helping one another make better decisions to live them more innately and make better choices, lifestyle changes that are going to help our kids grow up be powerful human beings. That's what has to happen in the United States of America. So let's get their atlas checked by a reputable chiropractor who knows what they're doing and help boost the immune system. Let's have an awesome pediatrician on staff who can help our child make better decisions to make sure that ear is clear and who's not ready to dope them up every single time the kid's got a sniffle. But let's let the immune system take care of business. There's a change taking place, people. we got to get the moms to start stepping out, stop being so busy, and, and teach them on how to live a better lifestyle that's going to keep their kids alive. Not just healthy now, but alive. God bless you.